Hey everyone, Shannon Meddy here. It is day 30 of 30. We did 30 videos in 30 days and you are the encouragement that helped me get through that. I remember that first day, it was so hard to hit the button and, and do this. And I remember feeling like Cindy Brady when the red light went on, she just couldn't talk. And I just couldn't hit the button. That's how I felt moving you know forward and and you know moving up to making this commitment but because of you and your encouragement i kept on and and we did it and i just wanted to talk a little bit about some of the things that i learned um, some of the things that have happened because of making this commitment and how you have encouraged me along the way and and really some of the things i've learned about myself is that the people that, you know, they, they talk about attracting your tribe, your vibe attracts your tribe. And that is so true. And it's such a blessing. The people that, you know, are supposed to be in your life are going to be attracted to you. And the people that aren't are going to be repelled by you. And you really don't need everybody in your life, but you do need the ones that are part of your tribe. And it's important to start identifying who that is. And for me, it's been just a joy, you know, to put out a message and have your comments come back or bump into someone at the store, which, you know, I've, I've talked to people that didn't even put a like on my, my page or they didn't comment on the page, but they're like, hey, I'm watching your videos and they matter and it's encouraging me or it's making a difference for how I look at food now and, and how I take care of my body or I'm doing that 20 minute a day challenge. I mean, I've had people talk to me about that and I'm like, oh my goodness, there's like, you know, things that I've shared just about my own life that's mattered to other people. And that inspires me right back um, because I think all of us have a voice. All of us have something to share with one another. And I know when Facebook first came out, I always, because I'm about connection, like, you know, I, I like to go deep, which anyone that knows me knows if, if we're going to talk, I like to really go there and unpack stuff and figure things out and, and get some stuff done, you know, in the relationship and not be on the surface. And the thing that I probably struggled the most with Facebook was it was on the surface. And I was, I was the same, you know, I would post my best pictures, <laughs> not some of the videos I've posted have been pretty real and raw of me um, over the last 30 days, you know, but but it was all about putting that best foot forward, which is good in one degree, but what's behind the Facebook? What's going on, really going on behind? And I remember um, several, you know, a couple years ago, I started reaching out to people and, and really connecting and, and going to coffee and, and asking and finding out from people, what is behind the Facebook? What is going on in your life? And started making some really deep connections. And it's been exciting that video kind of takes that to that that same connection and level when you start sharing when you when you share every day people start to see really your life and what's going on in your life and you can't have your hair fixed and your clothes just right well maybe some people can but me not so much um every day so you know my first video was with a ball cap because i remember saying I, my hair doesn't look good today. What am I going to do? How am I going to deal with a bad hair day? <laughs> and I'm like, well, if I can rock a ball cap, I'm all good, you know? And so that's where I started because that was what I was comfortable with. That made me um, feel confident enough to be able to get on and just talk and share. And so that's where I started. But, you know, where, where it's come through and some of the things have been ex exciting to me are some of the videos that we've done that have made a difference for people and we kind of boiled it down to three things that we saw but I would love your feedback I'd love for you to tell me what what you want to see more of what you feel um, you'd like to know more about and and journey through with me and and this is a journey for me too this isn't me sharing oh what's you know I've been so successful with majority of the lessons I've learned is because I've failed forward through them and I'm, you know, I have a lot more um, journeying to do and I'm just one of those people that's gonna dig in and keep working on myself, keep working on all the aspects of, you know, wellness for us and our family and marriage. But the things that came up were uh, faith, family and food. That was kind of like the highlights. It was fun that, I think it was the one I did about my dad and that is going to spawn off into a book that I am writing now called um, lessons from the carpenter's daughter. So you're gonna hear more about that. I'm gonna keep unpacking lessons that I learned from both my parents and and share, um, you know, not only kind of combined from my, my growing up and upbringing to my faith lessons that I've learned in my walk with God. And so I'm excited about that. 
and um, some of the other things that were, I think my, the Love Me on Tuesday, um, you know, the philosophy my mom raised us on, that was a really big hit. The food ones were, were awesome, which has been great that people, you know, want to learn more about food, want to figure out, you know, creative ways to get healthy foods and tasty ways um, into your family and things like that. So that's been fun. We're definitely going to push more into that. And then the marriage stuff was really inspiring and, and has, you know, really made a huge difference in, in our life. We've been married for 21 years and we feel like we're just starting to figure some of this stuff out. And it's I think it was, uh, what was it, number 13 was one. And, and just from that one video, it was exciting. I, I you know, I have a, a brand new friend that I, I know is going to be in my life for always. It's just one of those people we became fast friends after she watched that video. And it just allowed me, I guess, to share something in me that resonated with her. And, and we have so much in common and we're so excited to, to do life together now. And it's exciting. So, you know, what I've learned, I guess, the biggest takeaway for this is that me being vulnerable and sharing my heart with you has made a difference and impacted other people and a really fun thing is that now other people are starting to take the challenge too so we have I think four of us um, right as we speak that are doing these videos every day 30 days of video um, sharing messages uh, from their life and I'll tell you I was watching them today I was crying through these videos they are amazing they're rocking it um, just so exciting I'll have to share some of them on my page so you can see what they're doing but it is so inspiring to see other people it's more exciting than than my videos it's it's seeing them you know get their voice out and they have so much to share I am learning so much from them so it'd be fun if you join us on the journey there's there's a a lot to do you know in the evening that the people get consumed with with TV and shows and all kinds of things but I don't know maybe you could dig into what you're learning and share it with other people maybe you could find your voice and it would matter to other people and it would be fun if you would join us on this challenge too. But please let me know um, what you think and what you'd like more from us because it's exciting to be able to share these messages with you. So we're going to keep doing this. I'm going to keep journeying through. I'm going to keep working on finding my voice and um, I just would love if you'd come on the journey with us. Thanks so much and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye.